Hello guys, my name is Lenny and and my mouse is flickering. Um what the Stop it. Um never mind. Uh in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to access your Mercular Mercurial um, repository. And I'm talking about using remote repository. I set up a repository at Assembler. Um, probably here, and you can create a uh, repository packages, maybe. This one should be free, and you you just go through the process and set up your own repository. I'm using um, Tortoise. Mercurial, Mercurial. You probably have to specify this somewhere. Um, I just used a link I found on some forum. Never mind. Uh, you need any repository. That's up to you what program you use to version your software. If you are versioning your software, and to be honest, versioning your software is a good way to um, roll back on any critical mistakes. If you happen to make any and kind of get lost and need to go back um, where the program actually worked. So when you create the repository, you end up on this screen. It's after login. You won't see anything here. You can go to instructions and this tutorial will be for um, tortoise and not the subversion, but mercurial. mercurial. You Copy the link, then go to um, Workbench. You can access Workbench as a program here, or uh, you can open the Workbench on already existing project, like this. You can see I have already pushed some um, stuff into it. Actually quite a lot and that's all me just from different computers or whatever um, but what you need to do is you need to clone a repository you need to specify the location and then you need to set an empty folder as a destination it then um, asks you for the login and password and then it creates the repository for you. Uh, in the beginning when you start you will end up with this repository. And now um, I've actually already initialized my repository so I, I was facing a problem that I need to push um, into a different repository and I'm gonna do that right now let's see this one isn't set up properly let me check the files nope there's nothing in the repository this is just the clone of the repository I already pushed some stuff into it but only to the remote repository so now I can either get the stuff from the remote repository or I can push the same stuff into the local repository and the harder of those is to push the stuff to the local repository so I'm gonna do that just to show you how to push stuff there let's see um, push 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 versus push Am I missing something? Branch quotes, clone, fetch, commit? Nope. Share, yeah, push other. And I'm gonna specify the, the um, not video, uh, the place where my repository is, which is right here. Let's see what it does. Um, it pushed some files in there. You can see them here. 
and now uh, we are kind of facing a problem that we got stuff in the repository and we got stuff in the local repository so we actually want to check the changes I'm gonna specify the username and login no incoming changes okay you can even access the site from the link there that's cool yeah and let's make sure um, we really really got the same stuff here as well as in the remote repository okay now um, now if I make any changes to the project let's just close all of these open this one and let's change anything in here okay by the way you can use this to roll back the change and let's say that I want to push this um, you can use the mercurial tab here but you can use right click mercurial and I'm not sure if I should specify the yeah I think I should specify the default push here which is this repository as I have initialized the project um, into a different repository this might be confusing and it is confusing so feel free to ask any questions and now I'll try to push the changes okay um, something happened <laughs> now what happened um, am I in the yeah and it pushed the, the change into the old repository not in the new one that's not cool I mean huh let me think I can close this project I can open another project from the repository now I can make the same change and try to commit it okay uh, let's let's clean the project first and and commit the changes test new repo that sounds cool and now uh, you can see that the change is here not in the old one so I can like remove it as I'm not gonna be using it and I can rename this one to something easier to read okay uh, we pushed the stuff into the new repository but hey it's it's not in here and to get it here uh, we can use the workbench and again specify this stuff it found a new outgoing change set which we can push to the remote repository and it's gonna prompt for login again it's pushing the change set to the remote repository push completed okay let's check the repository and we can see the new change in here that we have changed something here cool huh this way you can um, keep your project safe from being deleted or corrupted or whatever and 
versioning is a really good way to keep track of your changes. You can then, um, well, if you encounter a bug and you realize that this probably is caused by previous changes, you can go back and see what happened before. You can check out what have you done and yeah, that's another name. <laughs> um, and you can actually debug or you can even clone uh, back. Well, clone to a specific revision. So you can like roll back and build up from there. Using repositories is very useful and I really advise to do that. And that's probably it. And yeah, see you in the next one.